This tutu is going to be one of those really cute tutus that you see on newborn babies that is just fluffy and uh, it'll just be the tutu and maybe they'll have a big old bow or flower on the side of their heads uh, taking newborn pictures. And I wanted to do this one because it's really quick and easy. So you'll see it probably still probably spend about 10 minutes doing it. So we're going to need our tool a ruler, something to cut with, and our elastic. Now, I'm going to use my roller cutter today. I bought this at the dollar store, and I told you um, you can get these really good ones at the dollar store so you don't have to spend a lot of money. And I was there the other day, so I, I got me one. So, my elastic is going to be 12 inches for a newborn. Now, remember we need one extra inch allotment for us to sew it and close it up here. So be sure to cut a 13 piece inch of elastic because the tutu is going to be 12 inches and then for the actual tutu itself we're going to need eight inches so an eight inch long cut that we're going to fold in half to give us a four inch tutu and we're going to need six yards and i'll write that in the description for you and on the um on the screen for you so let's get started now pay attention here because this is, it's, it's one solid color. The rollout is easy, but I'm gonna show you how we have to do it. So here we go. We need six yards. And we know these cutting mats are three, um, sorry, three feet in yard. So we know these are one yard each, or you would measure with your ruler three yards. So if you have a 12 inch ruler, 12, three times across. So here's one yard, and then you're gonna have to fold it. Fold it in and over. And then I'm gonna grab it where it ended here and roll it. This is gonna be my second yard. Keep this, this together, this, keep this together so later you're not fumbling with it. There's two yards. And if you have a little bit extra, don't even worry about it. And here is my third yard. how good that dollar cutter does it does an awesome job okay now I'll line it here and my eight inches is here one two three four five six seven eight I'm gonna cut it here I want to point out before I go to the sewing machine is we have the way you buy the fabric from the fabric store or the tool bolt it's already folded in half and you already so you basically have two pieces already but when you have the eight inches and you fold it in half you now have four pieces so if you notice I have one two right and then we fold it in half we're gonna have the top and the bottom two. So that's a total of four pieces for this tutu. Some people will only use one layer. No, we need two layers so that we can have four pieces together after we sew it together. And I'll show you that when we uh, bring it back from the sewing machine. Now, what I like to do, like I've mentioned before, is I like to put the tool beneath my table on my lap, and we want to fold it in half. Now, don't worry if it doesn't line up. You can watch one of my previous videos that speaks more spe to specific to that. But in the big picture, it's not going to make a difference. So we're going to place. Here's a close-up. So I have the what I call the raw edge to the left. And I have the folded edge to the right of my presser foot. 
And I've mentioned before, a lot of times people would sh uh, sew a one inch channel. I like to go right under that. So I have it all set up and let's get to it. Place it down. We're gonna forward stitch and back stitch. Actually, I had my machine on. No, it's fine. I thought I had it on zigzag. Okay. And then we're gonna just stitch the whole tutu like that. Now, normally I will match up the upper thread with the bottom thread, but if I'm doing a solid color and it's a light color, I have white in the now, so I'm gonna leave it. But if I'm doing a ribbon trim or something, I will make sure to match that up. So let's just sew through this real quick. Getting to the end here. Keeping the butt together the best I can. You see how we ended up almost perfect at the end of our cut there. Ah, I hate when I try to show it. There you go. You can see it there. Okay. So we're going to come to the end. We're going to go forward, back, forward, and we'll be done. All right. Let's take it over to the mat to run the elastic through. Okay, this is what we have now. Now I mentioned before I went to the sewing machine, we would have four pieces because there was two layers already. And when we folded in half, we had another two. So that gives us four. So if you can see this, we have one, two, and then the other side from the top part of the fold, three, three, and then this piece four. So four pieces all together. One, two, I'm trying to, I can't see if you can see. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Okay, like this is four. And this is important for uh, adding the fluff to this specific tutu. This is okay, now we gotta get our safety pin and our elastic. We're gonna run it through the channel that we just made here, right through there. Okay. Now I normally just pinch my elastic and I use a really big safety pin. It's nice and sturdy, but honestly, the, the thinner, smaller ones work just as good. I only, only I always um, lose them. So I just go run it through there, up and down, push the safety pin through, bring it to the end here. And now we're just gonna run it all the way through, put it inside the channel. Now, because we have the two layers that folded in half there, make sure you get it in the center, because if you don't, it's gonna mess up the the uh, the tool as you run it through. Okay, so let's just run it through and pull. Get through, pull it to the end. Okay, now we're coming to the end. Just finish running it through. All right. Finish running it through. Now take your safety pin off. And you can already see that you're starting to create that adorable tutu that's going to go on the little baby. All right, now we have to sew our ends together here. And get that in. Let me just push this over a little more. And we now need to sew these two pieces together. We need to get this piece and this piece and sew it. Remember, we added an extra inch. So half an inch and half an inch for us to sew that. And then we're gonna run the rest of the tutu around it. So I'm gonna do this by hand because I find that doing it on my sewing machine it clumps up sometimes. So for me, it's just easier by hand. Okay, here we go. I have the two pieces over, right? And I get my needle and thread and I put it through here. Just go like that, all right? And I'm just gonna show you 
real quickly what I do. And then I'll just speed through the, whoops, can't get it through the piece there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna knot it off first. Okay, and then what I do is I sew a box and then I sew an X and I go over an X. So a box, X, wherever you're at. Okay, and that's what I do. not going anywhere not that the baby's going to be moving around but anyways so now what we're going to do is we're going to move these pieces over all right and we're just going to start fluffing out the tutu moving them along it's nice and even around and i would put a little bit more here where we stitched it closed so it doesn't show now you want to pull each piece of the four layers away from each other. As you can see here, I'm taking one side and pulling it away, and I'm working that all the way around the tutu. And you want to do this to each layer till you come to the, the meeting point. We're back at the end. Now it's all separated. Now, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start just fluffing it. Okay. Making sure we're pulling all the pieces around. Making it even. And just get your fingers and just kind of pull. Don't don't grab anything, just kind of a, like this motion like that. All right. How cute is that? Put the little baby in that. Okay, now if you'd like, if you feel like you have long edges like this piece, I'm trying to see where you go, right here. You see this edge here? All we do is we get our scissors, and I have my big scissors downstairs, so I'm not gonna go down and get them. But I'm just gonna clip that piece off. Okay, see? You just do that until your satisfaction. I went and got this piece of fabric because I really wanted you to see how fluffy this thing is. So fluffy, so quick and easy to make. Look at that. This is the top. Look at this bottom. Look at that. 
look at how cute it is. Now I got my pickle jar. I mention my pickle jar all the time because this is not going to fit on my mannequin. But this is as if it was on the baby's waist. You can even use this to fluff out your tutu. Look at that. Adorable is that. But this pretend this is the baby body and this is what they're gonna see in the pictures. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope that you like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if there's any tutu design that you'd like for me to make, just let me know. I know I know that a lot of times people just can't think of what to do or what colors or a design to put together, but I'd be glad to do that. I love making tutus. So until next time, thanks for watching.